Hey, what's up guys, it's Ben here. So today I'm gonna to show you how to set up Weeble for options trading. And for me specifically, I'm gonna show you how I set up my cash secure put and cover call uh, layout so then you'll understand uh, how I do my trades or usually I use a different template to trade because uh, you guys could see the numbers visibly or uh, numbers clearly on the, on the other screen. But uh, usually when I do uh, my uh, analysis, I do it on a different uh, layout. So then I could actually see the whole picture of it. But when I uh, convert it to uh, my, my daily trades and stuff like that, I use a different version of it. So, but anyways, today I'm just gonna show you how I set mine up and maybe you could follow along. If you like the setup, you could use it. If not, uh, it's totally up to you to uh, change it up to your own preference and use it. So with that being said, uh, I'm gonna just remove myself out of here. And then, so first things first, click on this little icon right over here, which is like a paintbrush icon. Click on it and then you'll, it'll bring up to this screen. Uh, and then I have my cash secure put and cover call uh, layout set up, but default you'll have these set up already. So if not, you could uh, customize your own and just by clicking the blank layout. So once you're in here, you'll see this little widget thing. Uh, I do apologize for having it, you know, cut off the screen. So when I refer to add widgets, uh, just note that this toolbox looking icon right over here uh, is add widgets. And then you have your saved uh, uh, layout and then you have new layout, uh, you can add a new one. So once you click on this little uh, toolbox right over here, which is add a widget, it'll bring, oh, you'll have this little widget icon or just little screen row over here so you can add your widgets. So I'm gonna just put this back in place so then you can see everything as well. So how I customize it is just, you need a chart, right? So first off, let's start with the chart. So I'm gonna set a chart up like just like this. You could do it, uh, you could then add your indicators. However, whatever you use for your indicator. For me, I personally use the RSI to see if it's overbought, oversold, uh, do the MACD on it, and then also do a MA and uh, EM. EMA to you know a couple of the lines just so I know if it's trending up or down and so forth most likely I'm doing swings on these uh, options and I'm just I, I'm not doing any like crazy uh, day training type of thing if so the setup will be t entirely different so I'm just gonna close this out so then you can see like just the beauty of this <laughs> and then uh, what we're gonna need since we're doing options we're gonna need uh, options chain so uh, click on this one right over here. So under quotes options, you'll see the options chain. So I'm going to put this right over here. And usually when you just click on it, you'll see both uh, the call side and the put side as well. So normally if I'm going to do a cover call, I'm going to just click on the calls because I just want to see the calls. If I'm doing a cash secure put, I'll just want to see the puts. So I'll see the puts. So, and then obviously you could change the number of strikes that you see, you could do six, you know, or 20. So there's just more, you know, strike prices. So in, for the sake of this, I'm just gonna use six for some uh, sim sim simplicity. And then you, I have this set up and again, you could just change this if you want, uh, you know, to see the Delta or you wanna see the break even point, you could change all of this as well. And you can just uh, click on, let's see, add widgets. Uh, all widgets, no, not right over here. What is it? Right click, sort edit right over here. And this is how you change it. So that's that for the options item. And then, so, so if we're gonna do something, uh, we're gonna place an order, all you could do is just, you know, click on it. And then this will pop up, pop up. This is the order entry. So you need the order entry to see what you're actually gonna trade. And if you can't find this order entry, uh, this is how you're gonna do it. Under trades, order entry, this will pop up. So if I click on order entry, another order entry will pop up. And if you wanna remove it, just click this little icon right over here, this little three, three line icon with the dots. Uh, click on this and then just remove order entry. So that's how you remove the order entry. And since we have the order entry set up, uh, we're gonna, we will want to see the order as well. So click this and this will show you whether it's gonna be, you know, pending or if it's been filled. So normally I just put it, put the order entry, just drag and hold and place it right over here, just pop it in there. So then I don't have the order entry filling up my entire screen as well. And with that in place, um, I'm gonna show you how to group them. And by the way, you wanna group them so then when you click on one of these uh, strikes, right, 
it actually you know corresponds to this as well so i'm just can close i'm just gonna group them to uh one and then group this to one as well and do apologize for the screen being cut off and since i have that in place i just want to see you know some of the volumes or how the stock is doing in general and because of that i put use the price ladder and this is the price ladder and i follow this sometimes just to see how the stock is doing and obviously this corresponds to this right as of now but i really wanted to group in to group one so then i could see the options actually so this is just a, uh, the price of spy right now so in order to see the option prices i just set them to group one and now i have my options price right over here and with that in place uh sometimes you know you want to do you uh want multiple charts for for the sake of my trade i will want to have another chart so then i could see uh the actual stock price of the chart and then also the stock price or the option price of the same stock so well, i i know this is kind of vague but I'll, I'll show you the reason why so click on options click on charts or click on quotes uh, under quotes you click on charts and then another chart will appear and i normally just you know make this really big and then what i'm going to do is group this to one so i'm going to slide this out oops and pull this back out actually so this chart group it to one and you'll see why i group it to one later on so i'm gonna just maximize this you know make it a little bigger actually oops set this over here make this a little bit bigger so this is my widget right over here so reason okay so i have this group to one this group to one this group to one and this group to one so now let's say if I want to trade a stock, uh, you know, Neil ticker symbol NIO. So normally to do my search, click on this, click on NIO. And notice if I click this, none of the other charts are changing. So Neil, Neil, I'm seeing this price for Neil right now, but none of these charts chart over here is changing because these are still set at group one. But if I were to, you know, change it to Neil as well, NIO, just click on that all of this will start to change to correspond to the Neil price and again so this is the price that uh, this is the same price reflecting to just the price of the, uh, the market price of Neil but if I were to click on this just the strike price of 20 2050 right notice how this changed and this change but Neil right here is still stay the same because sometimes I want to just want to see the stock price, what the stock price is trading at and also whether it's trending downward or upward. And by the way, I have my interval set about one, one minute, but usually you just go for the day mark. So see now and you can see Neil is trading downwards right over here. So that's that for the setup. And oh, one thing I like to watch, uh, have a watch list so I could see which stocks are doing good, which starts going up, which stocks are going down. For the watch list, I usually go on, is it, I think uh, it's on stocks, where is the watch list? General, under general, watch list. So I have this set up. So watch list is right over here, but I'll show you one more thing on the watch list. So this is the current, you know, positions that I, I'm watching or some of the positions that I have so and and some of and sometimes there's a lot of these little you know headings right over here you probably don't need all of them but to get rid of it you know just click on this little icon right over here click on it and notice that you could change it so if there's a spark line right over here and you don't want the spark line just uncheck that and that'll just go away so and that's that for the watch list and sometimes i just put it right here in the center so i can see you know the price actions uh whether it's going up and down and obviously you could change it you know minimize this or take out the name so then you can see the little icon better i have it where i only see like three three or four headings at the same time so then i don't it's not too clutter so that's that and if you're ever doing day trades right so this entire setup will be different usually day trades you know you have uh active trade you have this setup and you could go in and out quick trades you know buy 100 at market you know sell sell 100 at market you just click on this and the order will execute almost like 
immediately ASAP. So then you don't have to, you know, click on this and do this. So make sure to group it at group one if you're gonna do something like that. If they're if you're day trading because you want the order to happen ASAP as quick as possible because you want to capture the market movement. But in this case, this is just a you know layout for a cash secure put and cover call. So in this case, I don't need that, so I'm just remove that. So and then I'm gonna close this, and so there you have it. This is my you know little setup that I have. Hope you guys like the setup. If not, you know that's totally fine. I just want to show you guys how I go in and out of my trades and uh, use what kind of tools I use to see and what's beneficial for me. And the 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 re the one thing that I really want to emphasize is the grouping. Once you group all this, then you can actually see uh, where all your uh where, where you want to trade it at and see also see this little uh chart for the market price so if you don't group it your all the charts is just going to be on its own and it won't correspond correctly to what you want to trade and by the way that's pretty much it if you have any questions just drop a comment down below and if i get sometimes i'll be happy to reply back to you and if you haven't uh have we installed yet or haven't uh have, don't have like a brokerage to trade Weibo consider Weibo if you want uh, they're still giving me out you know a couple stocks uh, for free if you sign up with them if not that's totally fine too links are down below video links are down below for uh, some of the stocks I do some of the trades I I do so if and if you like this video just feel free to give it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more uploads or tutorials like these and I'll catch y'all later bye